Today we find ourselves here at USC, which is University of Southern California in Los Angeles. The reason we are here today is if you've been following my channel for quite some time, you should know that I am a huge fan of John Carpenter and all of his films. He has done some of the most amazing work I have ever seen in movie and in TV. But we stand right here for the filming locations for Prince of Darkness, and our first location is the Town and Gown. This would have been the opening shot for the movie Prince of Darkness. Take a look at this. So right here is the opening shot of the film. There would have been students walking along, like so. Yeah, it would have been right there. That would have been the opening shot of the film. And then, the camera would have slowly moved to the right following two students along this way. And then Brian Marsh would be walking down this pathway right here. And he would have looked over this way at the fountain. That's where he would have spotted his beloved. And then after he would have looked up at her for a couple minutes, he would have made his way going that way. Victor Wong's character would have come up to this pathway right here. He would have walked along and until he got to these steps right here. Yeah, the camera would have come up. There would have been a second shot of him coming up these stairs right here. And as he would have got to the final step, he would have looked back at the sun. Yeah, he would have looked up at the sun and the camera would have panned down to right here. And I believe they built a fake little pile of dirt with ants all over it and they would have been going crazy as he was looking directly into the sunlight from right there. That right there is the opening shot for Prince of Darkness. Let's go find our next location. 
So here is that swivel sidewalk where they would have been walking up towards us. You can see these trees slouched in the background. You can see this building right here. A lot of this still looks the same, but you can definitely tell 20 some years later that things have changed. Actually, I think it's been about 30 years later since that movie first released. So 30 years later, here we are at the University of South California. Things still look the same, but at the same time, they still look different as well. So that's Prince of Darkness right there. Cat is observed by someone. He's not in any definite state, either alive or dead. He's in a wave superposition state, both dead and alive at the same time. Huh? Okay, only when we open the box and observe the cat does he materialize into reality, either dead or alive. But it doesn't make sense. That is the entire complete point. It doesn't make any common sense. of the church itself and this is the exteriors they would have filmed a little bit inside but most of the interiors were filmed in Long Beach still here we go right here this is the church that they used in the film Prince of Darkness John Carpenter's classic let's take a closer look So Donald Pleasance would have been along this entryway. He would have come up to the to the gate right here, and he would have looked down this way, and there would have been homeless people. behind him and Alice Cooper would have been right over here they have redone this area though and made it a parking structure so it is different from what we see from the film but Alice Cooper would have been right there looking up at the sky as well and also giving dirty looks across the way and as Donald Pleasance was entering the church he would have looked up to the sky and it would have been it would have been like the sun aligning with the moon and then he would have looked back at the church and he would have ran right into that woman that was standing right here. It's so wonderful what you're doing, Father. Opening the church again. And you can also tell us this church because of this building right here and Donald Pleasance. They would have had a shot of him coming through the building this way into this church. Absolutely mind blowing. And then, and then they would have panned out, the camera would have come this way to the back of the church. And then right behind the church, the crew would have been unloading their van right around here. so cool to see this up close and personal. I've always wanted to see this church. I've been a huge fan of Prince of Darkness, 
since I first saw it years and years ago. It's been one of my favorite John Carpenter flicks as well as Halloween. So guys, I'm curious. So yeah, Prince of Darkness, Halloween, um, They Live. Those have always been my personal favorite John Carpenter flicks. Definitely let me know in the comments what your favorite John Carpenter flick as well. So, pretty awesome being here right now. We are in downtown LA 2019, and it is a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. It's not the safest place to be. We are close to Skid Row as well, and that is not a place that you wanna be, and that's definitely a place you wanna watch where you step. Unfortunately, I do feel bad for those people out there. It's a very bad situation, but yeah. That is it, guys. That's John Carpenter's Prince of Darkness right here. Very, very cool. I'd imagine this area would have been a lot different 30 some years ago. And then right here is the alleyway. Alice Cooper would have been in this alleyway and he would have impaled one of the other members, one of the students. And it was actually what's really cool is when he impaled him. It was actually one of Alice Cooper's props that he uses in his concerts. That makes blood go all over the place, and so that would have taken place right here in this alleyway. So, that's pretty awesome. Yeah guys, that's it. That is Prince of Darkness here in downtown LA. Let's get one more shot of the building before we take off. Another shot would have taken place in this window. They would have been looking down over here and seeing the homeless standing along as so. That would have taken place right up here. So it's the church, and sadly, sadly, Donald Pleasance and Victor Wong have since passed since the movie's release. And here we are, 30 plus years later, and the church still stands. It's right there. Very cool. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you'd like to see more. There will be more videos in the near future. So let's take one last look at this church before we head out.